So today I'm trying to wire my two-step to an actual switch because currently all I have is the uh, flex fuel wire which is actually the wire for the two-step. It's the two-step input for the uh, micro squirt and I just have the wire bare and I just touch it to the shifter when I want the launch control on and then I just throw the wire uh, so it doesn't ground and the two-step turns off. It's not the most efficient way to be doing it so I'm trying to wire it into a switch somewhere. Ideally I would like to wire it to my brake switch because I have to hold my foot on the brake when I'm launching the car and ideally the two-step will work whenever my foot is on the brake. So I'm trying to wire it to the brake switch but the thing that sucks is you can't do that because the micro squirt um, input for the two-step needs to be a ground. It can't be a 12 volt source. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to use a relay and control a ground circuit. So to turn the relay on you need a power and a ground which are these two wires I have tied together and then this is going to be your input and output. So one side will go to ground and then one side will go to the micro squirt or to the flex wire. That way I can use my brake switch 12 volt input to turn the relay on and then when my foot's off the brake the 12 volt is not there so the relay is not on and the two-step won't work. So this is pretty much the simplest way for me to explain this. Uh, you have a relay. This relay that I have is a four prong. It only has four uh, pins on it. So two of them are going to be uh, power and ground and that's going to turn the relay on so one one side of the relay is going to have power the other side is going to have ground and then the remaining two prongs that you have um, one will go to ground and then one will go to the flex wire on the ECU so when this relay is powered on it completes this ground circuit so the two step will turn on if you don't know what wires are should be power and ground. You can just take the relay like I got here and I have a bunch of bare wires here and as I can show you easy way to test is just to take the uh, prongs off the relay and fire up a battery charger or you can just use the battery in the car too and you take the wires and you just touch them to power and ground and you just keep combining two wires together until you get um, get the two that click the relay so these two click the relay that on mine so I know these two wires are going to be the power and ground and these two wires are going to be the input and output hopefully that makes sense it makes sense to me uh, but I'm I'm kind of bad at explaining stuff, so uh, hopefully you guys understand this. <laughs> deal situation, you could just take the part number off of the relay and look up the wiring schematic to find out exactly what ones need power ground and your input and output on the relay. But like most people, I am too lazy to look it up. So I'll just do it the hard way and uh, figure it out myself. Guilty as charged. This relay that I'm using is just one that I had laying around. Uh, I think it's a Chinese relay of some sort. It was controlling the fan on the car before uh, I put the LS in it. So I just had it laying around and I could not find a wiring di diagram on it. So that's why I'm going through all these steps that I'm showing you. So on to the next step of doing this. You're going to need to know what uh, wire to use on the brake switch. A brake switch is pretty simple. Um, pretty much on most cars you have a two wire uh, switch so one side is going to have 12 volts constantly and one side is going to have 12 volts when the pedal is depressed so this 12 volt constant is blocked here until you hit the pedal once you hit the pedal this 12 volt can go across and go uh, out to the other wire which usually goes to like your brake lights and stuff like that so just crawl underneath the car by the brake switch and find out what power or what wire has power uh, without hitting the brake pedal. And then you could check the other side, but uh, when you press the pedal, if your brake lights are working, 
the other wire is going to be the one that you want to tie into the relay. So I got about halfway through this uh, wiring project here and realized that my two-step is going to be active whenever my foot is on the brake and I don't want that because I want to be able to do a burnout and we need to fix this issue. So if my foot's on the brake it's not going to be able to go past whatever the two-step limiter is at, so three grand or whatever. I'm not going to allow the car to spin the wheels and uh, do a burnout and let the engine free rev. So we need to actually put a switch in between the power signal to the relay to interrupt the circuit so it does not uh, engage all the time. And I kind of added in my diagram here that a switch needs to be interfering this signal here. So this is the power coming off of the brake switch when it's depressed. And this switch pretty much just uh, goes in line, uh, this wire here. So when the switch is closed, this circuit works and the two-step will work and then you can turn it off so the two-step won't work. It'll uh, cut that wire there. And I actually wired it to my defrost right here. So when, uh, I turn the defrost on, the two-step works, and then when I turn it off, the uh, brake switch just works as normal, and no two-step. It's kind of funny because none of this stuff actually works. I don't have a blower motor or heater or anything like that in the car, so I can use this and uh, not be out anything.